हाय गाइस वेलकम टू कोडा टीजन लैब दिस वीडियो नंबर 58 फॉर मल्टी वेंडर ई-कॉमर्स वेबसाइट इन जेंगो विद रिएक्ट जीएस इन दिस वीडियो वी विल मेनली वर्क ऑन द कस्टमर प्रोफाइल सेक्शन राइट सो वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिजाइन दिस पेज एंड नाउ वी विल वर्क ऑन अपडेट हाउ द कस्टमर कैन अपडेट देयर प्रोफाइल विद प्रोफाइल इमेज राइट सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डू थ्री थिंग्स फेच द एग्जिस्टिंग डेटा second is update data with the profile image and this is additional thing but uh, i will implement in this video show full name at the top here we will show somewhere the full name as a welcome full name at the top head right so let's start to fetch the existing data and then we will proceed further okay okay so let's open the file front end source <coughs> <coughs> sorry for my voice uh, profile.js right so here we have profile.js so let's say <coughs> sorry we will create a constant profile data set profile data let's make it capital profile data right so we have now we need to fetch two things import use state not user state use state from react right and then use state this will be l right so not array actually let's say object so what it will be first name first name equal to empty what else is first name last name username email right so first name last name username email first name last name username email and other is profile image so let's say p image right and then we'll say profile data here value equal to profile data dot first name right and let's say value <coughs> value value and uh, first name last name username and email for the profile image i will do this thing this particular part separately but let's focus on this thing so profile first last username and email right so this is empty so it is showing empty if i say here uh, abc then we'll show the abc right now whenever we uh, whenever we submit this it should first of all let's uh, fetch this data right and uh, whenever we submit it should send the data so let's fetch the data first right so what i will do let's uh, go to um, we need to fetch the data let's go to product detail we need to import axios because we need axios for fetching the data we can use the fetch uh, api also but let's say fetch the data of this axios and we also need um, we also need the user context because uh, user context if i not import the user context let's see what we have stored in the local storage uh, storage local storage this customer okay so we have in the local storage customer id right so let's fetch the customer id customer equal to <coughs> customer id equal to actually mm, local storage dot get item 
customer id <coughs> sorry console dot log customer id so it should print the customer id where it is printing yeah, here okay now we have a customer id we need to fetch the data right so how we are fetching the data fetch the data we'll copy this we'll use the use effect whenever we change anything it will fetch so let's say this one okay so this will be the url so let's say customer will pass the customer id what we have a url for the customer detail let's go to main main url customer customer okay so we have a customer detail let's go to customer detail view let's see what things we are fetching this customer serializer serializer customer serializer id user mobile cust okay so we are fetching so we need to fetch also we need to show mobile in the profile okay so let's go to email let's say here mobile okay so and one more thing mobile right and uh, username email let's say mobile few settings at the end okay <clears throat> this will be mobile right now a uh, customer id so url will match this url then it will call the serializer and from this uh, representation we are fetching the user data okay one more thing we can do uh, let's remove this depth because whenever we post data it will not post the data so let's comment this and copy this to representation and uh, paste here and we will say user equal to sorry user equal to mm, user equal to we don't have user serializer right we need to create the user serializer then if we don't have then we need to create the user serializer um, before the customer let's say user oh no user serializer and uh, let's go to model uh, we need to import this here user uh, this will be user id then it will be first name last name username email right and then we will use this user serializer <coughs> here right instance dot user and for the customer orders hmm, for the customer orders order serializer order detail serializer okay order serializer right so we have customer orders uh, customer detail uh, where is that okay it's a related field i think right let's see what we have then uh, let's comment this currently okay so we have this uh, all the things <coughs> okay so from here we will call this url fetch the data let's go to fetch data here copy paste okay so we need to set product data set profile data
and uh, it will fetch the data so let's uh, use effect is not defined let's go to use effect right so now we have refresh base url is not defined so let's copy the base url also it's a just a simple thing we have defined for the url for the shortcut okay now what we have customer response customer orders okay so we have id user mobile right let's uh, go to serializer refresh this let's remove this let's refresh this go here so we have user and first name last name username email <coughs> right so now we have data so set profile data so we have data console console dot mm, log object id user okay so we need to mm, we need to set this one by one i think okay so what we need to do let's do this one so this will be data dot user dot first name right and then we have last name and then we have username and then we have email right okay in the serializer we also need to fetch okay we are fetching already mobile okay so this is mobile is coming from the data directory so mobile data dot mobile okay image we will see that right so what we have now uh, first name last name username mail and mobile right so all data is fetching let's go to customer serializer okay <clears throat> now we need to Mm. we need to define here the profile field right so let's stop the server and let's say profile image equal to model start image field and let's say copy this paste here let's say customer images right null equal to true right now we will just py manage dot py make migrations okay we have changed so much things migrate right so migration applied now run server so we need to include this field in the customer serializer right so let's include this so currently it will fetch uh, no data i think if i go here in the network here so profile image is null everything else is fetching here right so let's work on the profile image now okay so let's uh, add the image here right and then we will show the image after this section okay so if i go here i've already added an image this image right and uh, we need to show here image right so i have already added in the serializer the profile image and if i refresh this page then it should show the image here this is the image right now profile image okay so it should be p image right and then data dot profile 
image right and this will be the source so after the image we will create a p tag in the p tag we have a image source right and in the image source we will say uh, profile data dot this right and then we will say width equal to width equal to uh, let's say 100 so this is the thing okay and let's add a class margin top 2 right so here we have one more class rounded right so i think we should show this image before the before this okay so we have this image mm, bottom okay so we have already this image now we need to work on the post data right so how we can save the data with image and uh, see the updated data here right and we will also show the success message so let's start to uh, update the data submit the button update the data and show the success message and show the updated data in the form okay so let's post the data so we will take help from our register uh, uh, section so what we need to do we will create an input handler in the profile so let's create the input handler and this will be our profile data actually let's say profile form data okay so it is form data uh, let's say profile data so profile data here set profile data set profile data and this will be profile data okay so now we need to add this input handler in the form so copy this and paste uh, here type uh, text actually this should be number right and then uh, for this we will take help from the our lms so change handle so file handle file change we'll copy this right and we'll create a file change handle right and profile data profile data right and this will be our target files right and what we need to do with this this should give here on change here uh, here right so handle file change and input handler also right so both things have done now we need to submit the data so whenever we click handler submit the handler copy this and paste here so we have first name last name username email mobile we don't need password actually this will be p image profile image sorry profile image and uh, this will be our this will be our uh, profile data huh? so profile data dot first name profile data profile data and then we have a p image p image so now it should be this one plus customer id let's see what kind of view is this so customer generative of yeah this is fine retrieve update destroy api view right so we have a profile this one form data form data is here then after submitting okay we don't need this thing set error message let's say simple uh, let's uh, we have this one remove this and simply insert response right okay then uh, we have this input handler 
this one submit axios post customer we need one more thing when we are sending axios we need to define the put right so this is put and second thing we need to define the headers so after this one we need to define the headers because we are sending the image okay and uh, this is showing the response it's okay no problem we are adding in the suite alert added in the lms in the suite alert but uh, let's show here the simple response first last username email mobile profile image and we are sending this data what else we need to do after sending the data okay so let's see now let's check now uh, submit handler we didn't added the submit handler on the button I think. submit form on click submit form so on click submit form button let's say input type button submit form uh, what we have name submit handler okay submit handler okay so everything should work now so let's say oh why this is not writing profile data dot first name on change input handler on change set profile data target dot name i think we didn't define the name name equal to first name name equal to last name name equal to username name equal to email name equal to uh, mobile and this name equal to what is this name handle file change okay what is the name of this mm -hmm. uh, qualification skills profile image name p image okay we need to define one more thing in the profile uh, let's say here uh, name p image name p image okay now let's see john louis let's click on submit let's see okay api customer one okay so api this one right let's see now john doi submit 500 you, but the url does not end in slash and you have to append slash sorry refresh let's see again submit user field is required hmm. user field is required okay let's go to this one actually we are not uh, sending the day we are sending the data but we are not appending the data we need to append the data in the user model but uh, we are appending we are doing this change in customer panel okay we can change only the let's say user uh, profile data fetch data after fetching the data 
Okay, let's see this. Okay, so let's fix this uh, update profile issue. Uh, actually, uh, the first name, last name, user, the first name, last name, username, email is related to customer model. But these two fields are related to uh, user model. Okay, so and currently we are calling this one. So it is not updating the first name. It is not updating the uh, username and email. Uh, yeah, sorry mobile and uh, profile email uh, uh, first name last name and username email but it is updating only the mobile and browse so what we need to do we need to uh, make one more request uh, where we will send the user detail right so i'll copy this function uh, sorry this excuse part and then here we will say user and customer user data right so we need to create that so i will do this copy and uh, this one form user data right so form user data here we are so this is user data right and this is uh, our more profile image and one more thing we need to do uh, what we need to do is okay so one more thing if you update this then it will generate an error let's see uh, submit what is happening here form data form data is here oh sorry this should be this one this one this one this one so let's copy this and paste it here right so okay and uh, if we submit here then if you go to network and it is saying what it is saying uh, okay so user is not uh, user is not we have not defined the url for the user let's define this so we'll go here backend api main urls right and then here we are and this will copy this one paste here user and then we'll say let's say user detail right then let's open the view and where we have a customer detail customer detail so do we have anything user okay so let's copy this customer detail right and then copy this one and i'll paste here and I'll say user detail user and this will be user serializer we already have a serializer so let's say user serializer here we are right and then in the URL we have user detail everything is alright okay so let's see now so submit what it is saying okay so this response is for first name last name username email what is this okay so user is required for the customer right so let's go to profile uh customer where is the customer uh this should not be the customer id customer id and we don't need the header because we are not updating here the email anything uh, we need we have a customer ID uh, here we need a user right so let's say user and we pass here the customer ID right actually 
we need here user id right so data dot user dot id right and then uh, let's see define id user id user id is this one user id is here and then in the handler we'll say profile data dot user id user id right and this thing we will pass in the user here. correct so everything is correct now let's see so let's say admin uh, we will say customer let's see this so we have a user uh, email okay so email is updating this is also updating if we refresh this page and you can see that right so we have successfully updated this one right so now we need to what we have done now existing data update data with profile image show welcome full name at the top ad so we have uh, not enough space but uh, we can show that so let's show that okay so our last point is we need to show uh, welcome this is username <coughs> sorry <coughs> welcome this is username and uh, <coughs> sorry uh, so in the header we don't have uh, so much space so uh, I show I'm showing this uh, welcome username in the update profile so for that it's very simple we will go to the profile.js welcome profile data we already uh, <coughs> fetching the data and uh, we will show here one thing that we can do we can add a span here and then in the span we can just highlight the highlight I mean right so this is what we have okay it's not the cool welcome admin and let's say a oh, primary was fine okay so we have completed this part now in the next part we will work on other sections right so almost our customer panel is uh, done right so we can move to we will see that uh, our, we will check our home page because popular category is also pending popular products we will see according to the views popular seller it's a vendor and uh, these are the testimonials so customer will add the testimonials customer can add the testimonials vendor can add the testimonials it's a lot of stuff pending and uh, it's very slow actually i'm slow but now i will try to move fast okay so i hope you are you are you will enjoy the videos from now it's almost one to two months to uploading this video but I will try to do as much as fast and thank you for your support and if you need the source code of this project then please uh, reach me via uh, go to the about us section you can check the uh, this email and just mail me and I will provide you the uh, provide you the script with the you know very this is the public repo so you can get here the access code after this uh, payment right so thank you so much for watching this video let's meet in the next video and i'm thinking let's uh, start the project okay let's finish this project then we will start next. okay thank you so much